Susan B. Anthony will be nine feet tall, so this head will be 14 feet up in the air. Sojourner Truth needs a little more aging in her face. I am the sculptor of the Women's Rights Pioneers Monument for Central Park. Today I'm working on hands and I'm building out the fingers to show the pressure of the pen. These kinds of details really make the sculpture vivid. This began over six years ago with a group called Monumental Women that formed to change the lack of representation of women in public statuary and monuments. And they petitioned the city to give them a site in Central Park for statues of women's rights pioneers. The women depicted in the monument are Sojourner Truth, Susan B. Anthony, and Elizabeth Cady Stanton. These three women were very important to the stature, the rights, the citizenship that we as women enjoy today. Susan B. Anthony's traveling bag, she would arrive at Stanton's house with her bag crammed with injustices. A lot of statuary just shows a figure standing and that has never interested me. I want to tell a story, I want to show a moment. So they're sitting at a table, maybe hammering out a speech, maybe working on a piece of legislation, maybe having an argument. I want it to be up to the viewer to decide. So you're never going to see her like this. You're going to see her from below, tilted down, more like that. I want the piece to be in depth so that as you pass it day after day or as you visit it once a year, there's more to see, there's more to discover. So there is detail hidden everywhere in the sculpture and a lot of it has meaning. Sojourner Truth often had herself photographed with her knitting in her lap because knitting was a patriotic occupation during the Civil War. It was actually necessary to provide clothing, but it was also a skill I have read that was not taught to slaves. And she wanted to work among the newly freed slaves and the escaped slaves and show them herself as an example of what they could become, skilled, involved with rights, and hopefully eventually citizenship. The statues will be unveiled on Wednesday, August 26th, 2020, which is the 100th anniversary of the ratification of the 19th Amendment, when it actually became law that women could vote. And it'll be right in the park on the site, on the Central Park Mall, where the statue will go. I can't even begin to say what it means to me, but I've lived in New York City for over 40 years. I love the city. I spent a great deal of time in Central Park with my son as a baby, as a child. It's been a refuge and an inspiration to see the statuary there. And I've been a professional sculptor for 40 years. So it's, it's quite, quite a wonderful thing to be doing this project. Mm -hmm.